welcome back to the channel. Now, I've got a little bit of a different video for you today because the other day I was researching some new treats for my cat, Kiki, who's just down here on Amazon. And like a lot of people search for the reviews high to low, find the best things on there. And then I just got me thinking, I've never tried to buy running shoes in this way. A lot of the time I buy running shoes on just regular websites. They don't have reviews on there. And so many people that are new to our sport may well start their search on Amazon, simply typing in running shoes. And what are they gonna find? Well, they're gonna find shoes like this. Now I couldn't actually get the old, the, the one that was at the top was technically the older version from a couple of years ago, but I found the current version now it is exactly the same review 4.8 out of 5 so got it in and here it is and we are going to give it our full test treatment the Asics Noosa Tri version 14 in this rather wacky colorway get a load of that Sarah on the camera Wait, it's, not, it's not focusing <laughs> Oh, there we go. What do you guys think of these colors? I absolutely love it. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. So let's get this box out the way. I This is the first time I've even taken these out the box. Real first impressions. Something's rattling around in here. Oh, there we go, some triathlon lace, triathlon specific laces in the shoe there. Technically a triathlon shoe, but no reason why anybody can't use this. But I've been doing a little bit of research about this shoe. So yeah, I paid £125 for this. Stack height, 30 mil at the back, 25 at the front, so five mil drop in this shoe. What's it for? Well, yeah, when I did the little bit of research for training, racing, um, obviously triathlon. We'll talk about the triathlon specific features in a bit. Uh, Asics have put their flight foam here um, for the midsole and on the bottom of the shoe, the outsole. Yeah, not a lot, but just some of the standard rubber there. There's no plate in this shoe. It is reasonably stiff. The flight foam from Asics is a pretty stiff foam there. No difference with the widths available. True to size, I don't know, because I haven't put it on yet. <laughs> we'll chat about that a bit later on. Then in terms of the triathlon specific features, you get these laces, which you can put in. They're just elasticated laces, basically. You can take the shoe on and off really quickly. Version 13 did actually have a pull tab at the back. Uh, but version 14, this one, is just a bit more flared at the back. So you can just sort of hold it at the back there to get it in as a pull tab on the front of the shoe. And yeah, they are designed to be worn sockless. Uh, you don't, you can, of course you can wear socks. It's a sort of a gusseted tongue here, but if you put your hands right down there, it's lovely and smooth all the way um, throughout the shoe. Right, got my trusty kitchen scales here perfect for weighing shoes. I don't think I've ever worn, weighed anything on here in the kitchen. 260 grams, that is lovely and light. Let's take this label off this one. On the other shoe, it is coming in at 260, exactly. One of the rare times her shoes weigh exactly the same on right and left. So top marks there for Massics, lovely and lightweight. Right, I think it's time to go and give these a proper test outside. I've got a fun session to do today, doing a four by two K. So you're gonna get these laced up and next you'll see us be out on the run. We're here on at the banks of the river. We're gonna head out for about a 4K jog warm up out towards the O2 Arena just over there. Right, let's go. Right guys, winter is definitely here, gloves on, darkness is setting, but we've got a session to today, so we're just doing sort of about 3.3K warm up, and now we're gonna do four by 2K at around 3.30 pace, which is kind of around half marathon pace at the moment. Right, just gonna roll into this, have a chat, see what the shoes are like halfway through the session. First 2K, bang on, seven minutes, two 330s. Right guys, super windy tonight, not enjoying running back into the wind there, but feeling good. I think it was like 6.58 for those, so again, bang on pace. Yeah, the shoes are nice. They're just not giving me much there. I'd really, kind of like maybe if they put some of the blast foam from the uh, Nova Blast 3 in these 
that would give them so much more pop but there's obviously a reason for it looking forward to diving in a little bit more see what it's all about right 30 seconds we're at three right guys rep number three about 6.50, six on that one, so just at a pace, feeling nice. I'm really feeling that rocked geometry at the front of the shoe as well, that top, it's really pushing you forward. It's really quite nice actually, enjoying that. Oh dear, so seven minutes, bang on for that one. Really happy with that pacing, because we've done about 110, 120 Ks in the last five days. So building up for Valencia Marathon in a worrying amount of time, about three and a half weeks. Right, let's have a jog back, have a proper chat about these shoes. So here we are a few days later now, up to 50K banked in the shoe. So let's have a deep dive into my likes, my dislikes, and who is this shoe for most importantly. But firstly, you may be wondering why Noosa? Why is it called Noosa with the Noosa try? Well, for those that don't know, Noosa is a small town just above Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Really famous place for triathletes training and they have a big triathlon race there every year as well. So the triathlon specific features well, you've got this sort of sockless design. We'll come on to that in the likes in a minute. And then, yeah, you get those toggled laces as well. And there's like big pull tab here. And then this sort of flared heel arch as well, which is really good for getting the shoe on super quickly. You do not have to be a triathlete or wannabe triathlete to use a shoe like this. It just has some really cool features that triathletes will love. Any runner can use this. Anyone that's running, walking, whatever, will absolutely love a shoe like this. So really, who's it for? Someone looking for a lightweight, sort of snappy shoe, does most of their running on road. Haven't enjoyed running um, off road in this shoe and definitely a shoe for dry weather as well. Doesn't want anything too soft. The flight foam here, it's really not the softest foam. So if you like that sort of slightly firmer ride, it will be good. A great shoe for your shorter workouts, traditional reps or racing as well. For me, up to about half marathon distance, so 5k, 10k and half marathons. My first like in this shoe is just it's so lightweight, as we saw in the facts and figures earlier. Really versatile and really responsive. Great for runs of all different speeds, whether you're going easy pace, recovery pace, or you're all out 5k rep pace. This shoe really delivers. It's just a joy to run in. My second like for the shoe is all about comfort. Now, it's designed to be worn sockless, but you can obviously wear socks when you wear it, but for a lot of triathletes, like to wear them without socks. So it's super smooth on the inside, no seams at all for anything to get caught on, no rubbing, no hot spots or anything like that. Now there is a heel counter present, a little bit stiff at the back, but with the amount of cushioning all around this heel, I've had absolutely no irritation and enjoying the stability that that's given there as well. Plenty of room up front in the toe box, nice and wide. This breathable mesh upper, again, a lot of triathletes running in some hotter climates, traditionally where triathletes are, maybe not the ones in the UK, but uh, yeah, it's got a super good Good airflow through there, the perforations um, in the top of the mesh here. Very easy to get on, as I said before, with that pull tab, and even easier if you are going to be using the elastic laces. All around, super comfortable shoe. Dare I say it, one of the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn, both casually and of course running as well. So my final like is all about the price of the shoe and the value. Durability, it's holding up really nicely so far. The Asics high abrasion rubber on the bottom, showing really no signs of any wear so far. So you're gonna get a lot of good miles out of this. But most importantly, I paid 99 pounds. I didn't actually get these on Amazon. They're a bit expensive on there when we came to buy them. I actually got them for 99 from Start Fitness. And I will say support your local running store if you can. But at the moment, there are 81 pounds on Amazon. And that is an absolute steal for this shoe. And then my final little bonus like at the end, I love this colorway. And I love all of the colorways that ASICs make this shoe in. They are very wacky. Sarah's gonna put some of the others up on the screen at the moment. Let us know down in the comments, guys is that a like for you or a dislike what do you think of the 
very, very jazzy colours. Right, let's have a chat about some of the dislikes. There's really not much to get through here. The wet performance, well, I did take it out on a bit of a damp, drizzly sort of run. Yeah, it's sort of sliding around a little bit. Not great in the wet. So many shoes just aren't at the moment. If you're looking for something that really is good, we've decided testing the Asics Nova Blast 3 Trail Edition, looking like a really good winter running training shoe, not just on the trails, but on the tarmac as well. That will be up next. And the second <coughs> dislike, it's really hard. It's not really a dislike. It's just something I'd like to see. I do like the flight foam but I think this shoe could be transformed by having some of the flight foam blast plus foam in there as well I think you just get a little bit more return a little bit of springiness I can't imagine many people are actually going to be racing in this shoe they're going for some of the carbon plated options but yeah just something I'd like to see maybe in version 15 but that's it I've loved running in this shoe I love the colorway it's exciting it's fun it's poppy it just brings a smile to my face so very much recommended going into rotation definitely and I enjoy wearing this casually as well that's that's it guys thank you very much for following along with the review let us know if you're going to be interested in buying the shoe or maybe you have it maybe you're a triathlete maybe you're a runner and you've been using this already let us know down in the comments check out the website benparks.com and we will see you very soon in the next one